It was a sea of pink in downtown Kansas City today. An estimated 25,000 men and women got up early to support breast cancer research. A huge success. Organizers say Kansas City is likely going to make its $1.5 million goal for the Susan G. Komen race for the cure. And this little guy is part of the reason for its success. For the last four days, he's gone door to door raising money for his grandma, Nancy. Dalton, how much money did you raise for breast cancer? Uh, $600.72. $600.72. Not too bad. 2,000 of those who took part in the race were survivors. Lisa Benson shares some of those stories. Before daybreak, Union Station was buzzing with people who were signed up and ready to run. Kansas City's Susan G. Komen Race for the Cure drew nearly 30,000 people to the metro. Some participated in the 5K run or walk. Hey, survivors, yay! I lost my mother to breast cancer about 20 years ago, and, um, you know, I just think it's, it's so important that we find a cure. I'm 10 year survivor now. Um, it's a tough battle. Got lots of friends who've been through it. While others attended, just for the chance to share their personal stories and support the nationwide effort to find a cure for breast cancer. Dick Schulte was diagnosed with breast cancer 20 years ago. About 180,000 a year men get diagnosed with breast cancer. And I think that we need to bring that to the surface too. After the race, a sea of breast cancer survivors marched along Pershing Road to show their solidarity. When you see a survivor, when you see someone who is in need, definitely encourage them. And I felt the encouragement and the love. NBC Action News anchor Cynthia Newsom is one of those survivors. These survivors also share their hope for earlier detections now and a cure in the near future. Lisa Benson, NBC Action News. Postal officials were also racing to help find a cure for breast cancer. They were selling a special multicolored stamp with a picture of a woman on it, along with the phrase, fund the fight for a cure. 11 cents from each stamp sold goes towards special cancer research funds. So far, the stamp has raised more than $71 million.